Mmm, pork bellies. Pork strips. Get up there. So yeah, I'm just sort of following what these uh, Americans do with their stuff. Uh, they put on a, like a mustard. It's, it's a mix of mustard and some sort of chili sauce. So they cover it with that first and then they pour the seasoning on you let it sit I've decided to use this uh, Cajun seasoning and yeah I'm just about ready to load onto the onto the barbecue okay just about ready to load on Perfect. Alrighty, I think I'm ready. Let's see what happens. Maybe uh, this time I won't mess it up. Let's see. Open the vent just a tad. Okay, well, about there. And away we go. Well, according to those Americans, these are just about done. A couple of hours in. See, we're used to cooking things really quickly. Like, you know, 20 minutes in a fry pan sort of thing or whatever. So this whole idea of cooking meat at, you know, 200 degrees for, uh, you know, two or three hours is odd. But anyway, let's see what happens next. Okay, I'm a couple of hours in. I'm trying to get the hang of running this fire. You only put like one little stick on at a time. You get about three quarters of an hour. You just gotta manage the vent down there. I'm trying to keep it up at about 270. The next piece that's going on the fire goes there. I'll leave that run, get back up to heat, temperature. I'm thinking another hour and a half, maybe. We'll see. Been spritzing it with um, apple cider vinegar. It's probably due for another little spritz. Let's have a quick squeeze. I don't know, it's still looking quite wet. Hmm. Well, while I'm barbecuing, I've got this. Um, this is all the plums. Um, I'm just about ready to go into the fermenter. I've been. Uh, Mellowing and peptic enzyme just to break them down. Ready for the fermenter, which is about now. Mmm. Plums. Mmm. So that's um those two buckets, 50 kgs roughly of plums. Yeah. And also a nice fresh loaf that I can eat my pork belly with. Mm. Yum. Fun times. This is this is post storm uh, therapy uh, day. Yeah. Well, it's four thirty, so. Um, Time for a bibbin. Um, let's see how I can do this. You know, us humans should really have three arms and three hands because yeah, it would make life so much easier, wouldn't it? You know, especially with our modern day, you know, cell phone kind of smartphone kind of lifestyle. Anyway, yeah, an extra arm and a hand would be awesome. Um, Perhaps we'll evolve, you know, you know, 
uh, to have a third arm and hand. But anyway, um, yeah. <clears throat> Got some bourbon. <clears throat> and uh, oh, can't wait to cut, cut into that fresh, fresh loaves. You just can't beat it. Yeah. This is my oh, this is my snack tree. My snacks of blueberries <clears throat> in my kitchen. Hmm. Well. Yeah, so I've got to get out a couple of guitars later and ear them out. They just got a little bit damp downstairs. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is a weekend of chilling and food and homemade stuff. Homemade bread, homemade bourbon. Homemade Coke? No, I didn't make the Coke, I'm just kidding. Homemade tomatoes? Homemade blueberries? Oh, let's go and have a look at the, the pork belly. Well, apparently you're supposed to keep it up about 270. I've got two probes in there, and then one's reading one, uh, 251 and one's reading 290. Near thereabouts. Um, for three hours it's been a bit longer because I haven't been able to quite maintain that temperature but actually they are starting to look more like the stuff that I see on the internet the longer I do them so I think yeah I'm just gonna leave them a little bit longer until they reach the right temperature and and then it's going to be a yummy dinner. I'm looking forward to um, trying something a bit more uh, adventurous, like you know, a big brisket or something like that. But I think it's a bit much for one guy, so I'll probably have to have some sort of party. I haven't had a party for years. I used to have hoolies, man. Oh my God, some of my friends will remember um, <coughs> the days of the studio down on Sunny Bray Road where bands would come and practice and make lots of noise. Bands like Muck Hole, uh, so on. But I used to have these parties there, oh my god. Legendary. Anywho, I'm not like that anymore. Huh, a couple of cheese crankskis. Thought I might as well. Throw a couple of those on there. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Right, so apparently when these get to like 200 degrees and you can just like stick a thing into them and they just like butter, then they're ready. Once they reach about 200 degrees. About 170, 185, 167. Oops, I forgot to put the cheese grain skis in, just heat up. A couple of them bastards. Throw them in there, why not? Not entirely sure if I'm doing this correctly, but uh, eh. so the next step is to take them out, cut them up, put on some maple syrup and some plum sauce, put them back in for like half an hour to caramelize, and then they're done. Um, I guess we'll see then. Okay, so whoa. Oh. I've had these going for like five hours. I'm not really entirely sure I've got this right, but oh. let's have a look. Uh, I'm not in 
entirely sure I got these right. They must be close. I mean, five hours. We're not used to cooking meat for five hours, like, unless it's like in a honey. But, you know, in, a, in an open barbecue thing. You know, traditionally here in New Zealand, we're like, what the fuck? You're overcooking it, like, five hours. But, I don't know. That's how they do it. Hmm. Um, right, so, what I'm doing now is, whew, cutting these into cubes, and putting on the plum sauce and the maple syrup, and it's, then it's going back in, okay, alright, so everything's cubed up, and the sauce is there. Um, now we've got to caramelize this. And move these around. Get it a bit closer to the heat. So that's probably what I should have done earlier. Anyway, 20 minutes see what it does right so apparently this is kind of done oh, okay okay and a couple of cheese kranskis which I probably won't eat they're just there for looks oh ooh, hot hot throw them in there okay so what do we got we've got I think these things are called pork burnt ends burnt ends oh ho, 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 ho. look at that mm. okay so this has got the plum spicy chili plum and um, maple glaze over the top Cajun seasoning five hours I mean god who does that anyway look at that it's just oh my god mm. makes up for last week's disaster Last week I made a whole bunch of cat food. Mmm. Homemade bread. Mmm. Oh, crikey. Okay. All I need is a woman that makes really, really awesome uh, salads. Who likes um, homemade whiskey and... Uh, I'm not going to get into the rest of that. <clears throat> you wait. <sighs> Telly ho.